but I do want to see this. So here, I maybe, maybe let's just watch this part, right? Set up here. We got a follow up attack team. Let me see. Ratio and Topaz. You also have a run May, and you want run May here because considering your whole team, even including adventuring, does damage, it's just turn this down a little bit. Here. Okay. So this this is actually the team that I wanted to test before I got booted out. <laughs> it, this is very close. I couldn't test it in time. I couldn't test this specific team in time. Um, so I want to see this because right now I'm under the pretense that May and Aventurine are counterintuitive. But if you could kill them during May's ult, then it's no longer counter counterintuitive. But you already know what he kind of generally does. So what I'll do for you guys is I'll just show you raw footage while I'll try to explain, you know, what he actually feels live. So right now I got Ron May. I just bought my entire team. Get those damage in there. It's just the normal stuff. We got Topaz ratio. You've seen them more than enough. The this is E0S1 Topaz, right? I want to I point something out for you guys. Game will start. He is doing. Explain, you know, what he actually About feels 30k. Live. So right now I got Ron May. I just 20 to 30k, right? Team. Get 21k it's just the 29k right and that's before ult normal stuff we got topaz ratio you've seen them more than enough the game will start honestly the one thing i already missed here is look at the shield right i didn't have to use my e because one of his major traits gave this might be e1 uh yeah. so I, got I, I will know if i can, I can see the, e, the status I above them no point in using it i'm still healthy with but i don't i don't see the proof of debtor you generate that skill point for myself and yeah let's just keep going this guy's gonna hit me a bunch of times that's all attacks blind bed stacks and Numbie goes what did i tell y'all 116 116 hold on we're gonna go back i need to see if this is e1 that's not e1 he doesn't have proof of debtor stat the, the, the debtor stat isn't on him this is e2 nah i don't think so i don't think so where's the debtor status he's got regular proof of debt on but there's no i don't see the debtor status he got energy from Numbi, this did he? Is, look at the shield, right? I didn't have to use my E because one of his major. If he got, if he got energy from Numbi, right now. So this goes into what I'm talking about. E, but hold I'm on, wait. Point in using it, I'm still healthy with a lot of shields, so I might as well just use a Q, generate that skill point for myself, and yeah, let's just keep going. This guy's gonna hit. Boom, me boom, boom! Time. Everybody That's gets hit. All attack. Stacks. And look at my shield. It. He does get a little bit of energy from Numbi. Doggos. Num okay, wait, 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 wait. Numbi gives energy while in old state. Okay. Hold on. We we still have... You said no. I'm in the game right now. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I'm in the game right now. I am in the game right now. We can check together. Hold on. Let me... Where is it at? Boom. We can check together. This one? Numbi is entered. Blah, 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 blah. Where would I be looking for? Numbi attacks. Increased damage. Basic. Da -da -da -da. Check traces. That's technique. What? These are my, huh? What were, what were we looking at here? Oh, while in the the windfall, I was already on it. My bad. It gives 10 energy. Okay. 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 So now that we know that there's no debtor state, I think this is E0S1. I think this is E0S1. That's good damage. 116. And he still has another one loaded up. It is recovery. Right? Where, where'd that 163 come from? A bunch of times. That's seven blind bets. 21k from follow-up attack right i look at my shield okay break damage is 20k this yeah this is about e1s1 status about 80 no that's 100k around like bro that's like 99k 99k i'm gonna round up to 100k 100k with numby 21k or about 20 ish k uh 21k with may's break right okay and that's yeah that's two breaks exactly because they get their own break but that's it still numby's damage recovery. That's MOC. Okay, the 163 hit, that's MOC, right? Towards each other. And in terms of shield size, you're looking at about the 1.5k range before anyone hits you. And then now, Rachel got hit, but he got replenished. He's now at 1.3k elbow. What, what's his but defense on? No, 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 no. Go back. Adventuring. I need to see Adventuring's defense. It is recovery, right? It's stacking towards each other. And in terms of shield size, you're looking at about the 1.5k. 31, 44. That's like 4,400 defense. It came range before anyone hits you. And one point. Now, no, hit, I think he should have more defense than that. Yeah, about 4.5k. He should have more defense than that. Let's keep going. Now, I did also do follow attacks with Topaz and Dumbi. Those are all one blind bet stacks every time I do follow attacks. Right? 33k, right now, 89k, second blind bet stacks. 91. Yep, there it is. There it is. 
Almost 100k from Numbi right there. Blind bet stack. And every time every tree does this fall attack, I get a shield. So that's how you're able to survive forever. Right now, I'm just chilling, right? I don't care about anything. And you he should have skilled with me. A bit of health level. That's annoying. You basic attack. You can basic attack. I'm gonna make he can skill for the energy, <laughs> but like, Dude, this is such a waste he didn't damage. need it. That guy's so 40k. Regular skill. Regular Numbi skill. 40k. Health, man. No oh, crits I, right there. Unfort. We move on. We still have more than enough shields, so I guess I'll just only do a Q. And here comes the ultimate. What I want to show is the damage first, like, and just generally look at what it does. I suppose. Here comes the. Now this ultimate, literally random. You see how it says blind bet received one point. You can receive up to like 10 or 12 points. So the seven right now it says four out of seven down here. This could be like 10 out of seven, 12 out of seven, and it overcaps. So if you just happen to have hypothetically like 14 out of seven, you will follow up attack twice. Damage is that's an automatic number. Insane, yes, but it's nothing to just say you can ignore it. It's still decent. And the best part about that is the under debuff. I get more crit damage out for all allies that attack yep. this guy. And of course yep. we have all in as well from his um light code. All are just good supportive debuffs that's gonna help me do more damage. So Boom. L plus ratio, hundred K right there. How good is that? With this E, I need to be able to kill you, but I don't think I could. Uh, it's gonna be a shame. Oh, with the toe pad. Oh, okay, that just saved Boom. my eyes. Got Follow up attacking supremacy. Follow up attacking supremacy. Had Doggos played this correctly, like hitting multiple enemies and splitting where Numbi and the ult went, done. I dig. All attackers, man. They're so now, this right here, ball. great That's example of what he's able to do. He can put Numbi on Coco and hyper focus Coco and then, or my bad, hyper focus breaking down the T Rex and let Numbi and Ratio the ult. Destroy Coco. Zero cycle. I wasn't even really trying. God, okay. Now I'll use my E with one May, I suppose. And we have the final fight here. I'm That's seven so out of seven. Chilling. Drop it. Do Follow up attack go. right Personally, there. Numbi goes. Look at that. Numbi's right there. The from the talent ba -da 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 -da. Know that it doesn't do that much, okay? Eventually, it does not just out damage your main DPS. That's something you gotta get right. Focus down what Coco. What to marvel at is the ability to just not lose a single health. Look how big this shield is. Look at Ratio's shield. Look at his shield. And it's infinite. On a follow-up attacking team. Oh point, yeah. Look at my team. It's so healthy. Well, don't mind if I do. Let's keep on going with the follow-up attacks that gains me blind bed. And again, I don't need to he use my He never team. has to use my skill. Actually, how thick is my he is an infinite SP generator. Adventuring is an infinite SP generator. Now, 1.8K, 2.3,000. What do I think about 160 speed adventuring? I don't really think you need all that. Ratio, like you are just so chill on 2.6 almost on Rod Bay. You're not dying with that, man. Let's just use a Q, get my skill point back. And for every time Doggos isn't using, and it's unfortunate because, like, I want him to show a really damn good showcase. He's not putting attacks where they need to go. This freaking dinosaur. I, I'm fighting this stage as well because the dinosaur has a lot of multi hits. Every time you hit me with a shield on, that's one step of my bet. So, how free. And so, what's funny, listen, March. He doesn't even need an ERR rope because you don't need to spam ultimate. Your ultimate isn't used as a, hey, I have ult, use ult. Because ult refills your shield. You should be using your ult in emergency situations. For adventuring, like, for all it's worth, he could literally just sit on ult and it wouldn't matter. It would not matter because he's constantly going to refill it anyway. Yeah. Let's go with Dr. Ratio. Get some damage Follow up attack. That's seven. Well. Boom. Now, what should have happened, right? What should have happened was he did follow up attack. He would have lined it up this way. Follow up attack would have happened. Numbi would have went. And then that would have given Aventry in two stacks. And then uh, Aventry would have dropped shield. That would have given two follow up attacks. And then Numbi would have went again. Numbi would immediately jump up. It'd be a 100% advance forward for Numbi. This is what I mean by like having Numbi do actual damage and then being able to go multiple times. Numbi can theoretically go up to four times per cycle. So if Numbi is cracking, what was uh, the normal Numbi earlier? Like 40K, like 39K, right? Multiply that by two. That's 80K. If Numbi's in ult, we just saw him pop 100K, right? That's 200K. Just from him, just from him being able to go twice. So many things on top of everything yeah, else and topaz ain't nothing to laugh at either topaz's basic attack still pop the same amount of damage that numby does from a regular spin ball topaz can pop with just a gunshot 
game. It's just happening on its own. And now we have one. Layla do our ulti. Here comes even more damage. Why the heck not? We are melting Cocolia without even like having not, having her weak to imaginary, man. <laughs> yeah. Yummy, baby. Get some yeah, see, he's, he's thank you for the follow. The way Doggos is playing, huh, he's he's wasting I'm not even saying she's attacks right now. Right now. She's literally dead in a lore too. Yeah, yeah. I might as well do it on you. This is gonna damage as well. Like and I, and I totally understand it, right? Like it's it's he's just enjoying the character. It's a first time, first impressions. So I get it. I'm not like harsh criticizing this at all. It's just that what I'm explaining and what I was explaining earlier about how this team operates and, and what makes this team crazy is shit like this. Infinite shields, the ult counting uh for like your follow-up attacks, being able to immediately regenerate ults, having crit damage naturally. You see that he crit for 20k. What other sustain is doing damage like this consistently? All of his anything adventuring does with a proper build is a crit. Weakness on you. It's only 23k with more blind bad. 24k. 23k from the ultimate. Immediately does a follow up. 24k right after that. 24k to blind bad. And again, I blind bet it. Like, I'm. <laughs> yeah. 69k from a follow up attack. That's almost 70k. No sustain in the game is doing that. This is what I meant when I said he does everything in the game. Damage. He buffs the team as a harmony unit. He debuffs the enemy as a nihility unit. And he keeps the team alive. Everything that you would want a character to do, Aventurine is doing it. This is E0S1 Aventurine. Yes. I'm just not dying. Look at my shield. 40k it's from the Numbi skill. And with that entire... He almost zero cycled by playing this incorrectly, like imp improperly, just fucking around. And he almost zero cycled this. Ordeal, double fall attack with my ulti. That's like 60k damage. For a preservation character, it is unheard of that you do that much. I don't know, let's finish Kukulia up here. Bang with an E into the fob. You should be dead soon. 14 There's the ult. I don't really gotta touch you anymore. You should die to the- And had he had another sure follow-up attack right here, it's, it's too much. that would have triggered a whole different still, sequence. Eh? Huh? Numbi, and then Aventurine, and then the both of those would have triggered damage. ratios I again. I forgot what the criteria was, but yeah, let's try just kill the dinosaur, I guess. Are you dead already? Holy... Boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep, he is dead. Can we do a one cycle? Yeah, totally we could now. Right now, we still look at my shield. It's not even... I have lost zero health points so far. Oh, my, my dude, I've, I've spent zero skill points, lost zero health. Dead. He didn't even need the MOC. The MOC trigger, he didn't need it. Dead. Dead. Yeah, and, and so, bewittled. That's what I meant, right? When I said he's not... He's playing it improperly, which, again, not directly his fault. There were times where just like now he's targeting Poco when in fact he should have been using Aventurine and Ratio to split and attack the dinosaur while using Topaz to break down Poco. Then when they built up their ults, follow-up attack is, is constantly beating people down. He could have one-shot Dino and then uh, like maximize the, the Dr. Nummy combo on top of Poco's head and she would just die. Poco has some of the weakest uh the weakest defense compared to like fucking Sam. I'll fucking kill a Coco. I love Coco, you know what I mean? But this is what I mean. So Sarah, this is a really good example, or I won't say really good, this is a, a decent example, but it shows the concept of what I was talking about. Where like Ho oh would add, okay, ratio gets his ult. Topaz gets his ult. Adventuring brings the damage. Like what the ult would bring, Aventuring brings in his own damage. We just saw him do 70k from a follow-up attack. And we know that he can constantly get these follow-up attacks to happen. I, th I think this is really strong. And I, I'm still thinking May is possibly counterintuitive. If she's not, I'm all in. If she's not, I'm all in. <laughs> yeah. Who would you replace to bring in Ho-Oh? You, you would have to replace Aventuring. Based off like what we were talking about earlier, you would replace a venture. She isn't. You need May for the dino. I don't. Okay. The dinosaur is is one specific thing. I'm not talking about like this particular MOC. I'm talking about the team overall, because if May delays them from attacking you, you don't get as many follow ups from just randomly getting hit. That's what I'm referring to. Yeah. Yeah. What, what Griff said that that's a thought that I'd had in my head on like how you would get over having May in the team.
they should be dead by the time they yes i and that's why i also said earlier if may you just kill them like you just one shot them anyway then may is not counterintuitive and may would in my opinion be the better uh she would be the better play over robin if now if robin has some crazy shit where like she amplifies follow-up attacks then obviously robin is going to be the better play but if not then yeah i'm still going to stick with may especially when you add into the fact that like e1 may oh my god oh my god who the fuck is robin facts <laughs> all in on robin or get a venturing and robin um me personally i would get a venturing and robin but i would wait to figure out what what robin does officially before doing any of that why well, split the damage i always hyper focus one elite the way that you play dr numby is to not hyper focus anything the reason that you do that i'm gonna show you real quick before uh before we dip out i'm, I'm not gonna even build i'm not gonna build the dr numby all right because I, I don't feel like sitting here for like 20 minutes looking for the stuff we're just gonna go in the hall we're gonna go in the hall and then i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about right we'll go foosh win whatever uh okay and then this this let's do it so ideally right what's happening here when you're playing this team and the reason i say that you want to split it is because the two of them together oh wait i need that there we go uh hello all right the two of them together allow you to split the damage whole goal is to just take him out so that i can show you splitting the damage on the next part and this works when they're weak to something yeah there we go okay so we enter into the next phase right now that we're on the next phase what would happen you would do ult let's see who has okay so he has numby right i would ult this guy i would pop ult and what happens here now the toe pass ratio is gonna follow up no matter what right because that's what his ult does he has two of these stacks down here you can't really see it because i don't have the mouse turned on but down here on ratio you see that he has two stacks topaz also has two stacks for the bonanza state you're going to basic attack ratio boom numby and then ratio and then numby would trigger again and then that that would be your combo right you will then use this elite to focus on him with ratio granted this is a 40 percent, so like i'm make or break in this one here Yo, we hit those winners win. Anyway, you would use that to now focus on this target because you see how much damage I've done to him, right? This one needs to get bullied down. And ideally you're able to do this uh, at the same time as everything else going on. So it, it just, it all comes down to like the build and what you're able to do, how much damage you're able to do, things like that. Now I do, and this is where I would say like Ho-Oh has that value, right? I like Ho-Oh popping off the team it's wonderful because then i get my ultimate as quickly as i need it and the way that i play that ho, -Ho team i do things that other players don't do i've never seen fushwin die a day in my life i've never seen a fushwin die a day in my life you sent me a clip i got you let's see Okay, it literally does not matter. <laughs> Dude, I I love I love that we had the same reaction, right? It's just like that ain't supposed to happen. I've never seen that happen before. You know what I mean? That's what's crazy.